Weather. The temperatures are mild heading into your Monday afternoon. It's 63 degrees in Birmingham, 66 down in Tuscaloosa, 64 in Coleman. Northeast Alabama started really cool this morning in the uh, 40s and Fort Payne actually hit the 30s. A north wind today bringing some drier air this way, trying to help clear the clouds. Uh, but you can see they're still around a blue sky as well. It's a nice afternoon and we're seeing some changes uh, come pretty quickly. So a north wind, a kind of an interesting setup, a high pressure system system to the northeast, so a north wind clearing the sky. You can see over North Alabama. We still have clouds pushing in from the west, especially over the southern part of Mississippi and Alabama, and these are a part of a low pressure system that is in the Gulf, the big bend region of Texas, like I was saying, and this is going to move to the north and east uh, throughout the rest of today and later tonight. Alabama's Gulf Coast could see some rain won't affect us here in central Alabama until tomorrow afternoon. And even then, this rain looks really light and scattered. Uh, so don't anticipate getting wet tomorrow. Just know that it's going to be cloudy, gloomy, and there are going to be some spotty showers here and there. A short term guidance has backed off on the rain just a little bit for Tuesday, but Tuesday night, it still looks like we get a pretty decent widespread soaking. And while some of this rain may be a little bit moderate, uh, nothing too heavy as expected, but a good several hours of this light rain would help and help fade the drought, even though we need a whole lot of rain to do that. Upwards of three inches or more to completely end the drought. But good news for South Alabama, really places south of Chilton County down toward Montgomery, Troy, and closer to the Gulf Coast. They're going to get some healthy rain from this. Three inches or more here in Birmingham, we're still kind of struggling to see half of an inch. Hopefully we get that and maybe a little bit more. Still uncertain at this time. When you go north of I-20, places like Coleman, Blunt County, up toward Marshall County, Huntsville, uh, they're going to struggle to see a quarter of an inch. Really looks like more tenths than an inch for them. And that's just because that low pressure system doesn't move up far enough uh, to bring enough moisture this way for some rain. So here it is. We're dry today. A better chance of some scattered showers tomorrow. I think Wednesday is our best day for rain, at least at this point. And into Thursday, some spotty showers linger. Uh, Friday, there's still a chance as a front comes through from the north, but even then, I think it's spotty rain. That's a lot of rain chances, but we've been telling you that we're getting a more active uh, weather pattern in terms of the wet weather, and here it is. So it's pretty gloomy. Today is the last day we'll see sunshine, at least until the weekend. I think the rest of the week is pretty gloomy, at least through Thursday and by Friday, maybe seeing some sunshine after that front. Sarah?